Hi, I'm Fantana, KD3Z, and this is Chip, K7JA, and we're at the Dayton Hamvention at the Comet and Tennis booth. But before we really get started, Chip, I just have one thing to ask. Have, uh -huh. you, have you ever saved a bunch of money on your car insurance? I have saved a bunch of money on my car insurance, and I was awful happy to do it. Well, that's settled. Okay, so, at... Um, field day this year, we are going to forget our antennas and we're going to have to make them on the spot. But how could this help us? Well, <laughs> forget your antennas on field day, that's never happened before, of course. Uh, it happens all the time. And so, what you have to do is you have to improvise in the field. Uh, you might have to build a dipole, you might have to build a vertical. Well, what do we do? Well, the first step is you've got to get the length right. Hmm? Uh, yeah, everybody remembers 468 divided by frequency or 234 divided by frequency for a vertical. Well, how do you do that? Well, do you know how many inches tall you are? 63. 63 inches, okay. Now we know what 63 inches are, and now we can build a wire antenna starting with 63 inches and get pretty close to where we need to be. Then what do we do? We hook up the coax, uh, we got to test the antenna, and that's where an antenna analyzer comes in handy because an antenna analyzer will show you how the SWR is doing on, on the band that you're designing the, uh, uh, the uh, antenna for. So in the case of uh, something like this, we have a portable antenna here, but what you would do is uh, set up your analyzer and start sweeping it. You can see the meters sweeping and you can see that our resonant frequency is 28.8 megahertz in this case. Well that might be a little lower than we want, but at least we have a starting point. So what we can do on a, a tool like this, uh, this will not only just show on the meters, but it has a graphing mode. And so you can uh, push a button and set your sweeping range, and then you can paint a plot of the SWR across the band and as we determined we're a little bit high so we have to make a change. Well I can emulate that change by doing that and on this particular analyzer it's great fun. We've made a change in the length. Now we can paint a different color and it will show the effect of our changes. Well, let's say you don't have two hands free. You can always come back here, push the button, and then the machine will paint the picture yourself. It has an automatic sweeping mode that will draw a picture of the SWR curve. So you can keep one hand free, holding onto the tower, holding onto a wire, things like that. And now we've got a pretty picture that's been done automatically. And so an antenna analyzer like the Comet CAA 500 Mark II is an, a, an invaluable tool in evaluating antenna performance and figuring out what to do about it uh, once you have gotten your initial construction out of the way. Do I need to make the antenna longer? Do I need to make it shorter? A plotting analyzer like this really does the job for you and it's there, it's great fun. There's a lot of capability in units like this, and so uh, make sure that in your field day group, somebody's got an antenna analyzer that'll do these things for you. Sounds good, and it does sound like it would be a help in that situation. Very much so. I, I always have my antenna analyzer with, with me. I take it up the tower with me. Um, something's always going to go wrong on field day, and uh, antenna isn't going to work you ex how you expect it. And so you have a tool with you that will tell you exactly where you are, where you need to go. So you can be on the air and people will say, wow, you're a magician. So what would like happen if you have a radio that doesn't let you transmit out of band? I mean, you wouldn't be able to necessarily tell where your dip is in your SWR. It could oh, be up above the band very or it good could be point. below. Yeah, may maybe you're really 65 inches when you were designing that antenna and, and you were way off. That's a very good point. Well, the nice part about something like this is that on the first button push here, you can set the sweep range to go plus or minus, you know, a megahertz or a megahertz and a half. And then you can see out of band, you can see in band, 
just how far out of uh, whack your antenna is, and so having that capability is really great. Um, and even if you're not um, if you're not using it, the graphical kind of an antenna analyzer, the ability to have something that is continuous coverage really is a tremendous a tremendous assistance to you. So yeah, very good question. Antenna analyzer is is really going to be a big help in that. Well, thank you, Chip, for showing this out. And that is, um, I forget the word, but it's, um, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, it does look like an asset. It does look like it would be an asset. Tremendous. For... It's, it's one of those things in life that you wonder how you got along without it before you got one of these things. And now that you have one, you just can't imagine being without an antenna analyzer. Uh, without it, literally, you have to have the radio there and try to watch the SWR meter on that, which means you have to have power going. Uh, all these things on field day that don't necessarily happen together, but you need to get the antenna going right now. That's where this self-contained battery-powered antenna analyzer really is a tremendous asset on field day. And in an emergency deployment, there's a flood or something, you watch your antenna washing down the, the stream, you got to build another one. Need one of these. Yeah, and let's hope that doesn't wash down the stream. That's right. Thank you for showing me this. And 73. 73, good luck on field day.